Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the middleweight division between Wiki Wright and Danny Jacobs. by knockouts and five losses. Hailing out of Washington, D.C., Rose Wiki! His adversary, an, an impressive record of 20 wins, 17 by way of knockout, and only one loss by way of Brooklyn, Danny the Golden Child Jacobs. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. If I'm the fighter with high stamina, fighting a fast, speedy guy like this, and you're my trainer, what are some of the things I absolutely have to remember that you told me? When you get on the inside, you better not make silent agreements and allow the faster guy to tie you up. You better be working, starting to take some gas out of his tank. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. How about a return to center with the left hand? Winky right with a block punch. Come up, come up, watch that, come up, Jess. Wright's blocking ability is doing well for him there. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Blocked by Winky Wright. Jab right hand. Unable to score with the hook. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. It worked in the box. Wright's effectiveness really damaged his opponent in that last round. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? You keep moving. Now don't let him get that power shot off, all right? Now listen, you need to keep moving out there. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's right inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Winky Wright. Wright's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Well, you can tell he's being patient, waiting for a countering opportunity. Teddy, what does he have to think about laying that trap? All he has to do is think a little bit like I do a tax season with my accountant. <laughs> I don't want to go into that office. You know, my accountant's standing at the door. He's waiting for me to come in there. I don't want, I want a rebate. And that's what he wants. He wants a rebate. He wants a counter. He's stepping back and he's waiting for the guy to come to him. So he's the one who gets his way. Halfway through round number two. Men digging in with uppercuts. Jacobs is able to land a nice clean left hand. Keep moving. Keep moving. 
Left to the body. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Good double jab by Wiki Wright. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. That last round really damaged him. Jacobs' face does not look good at all. You can see his corner trying to tend to him. Yeah, they tended to him a little too late. What about in the gym? What about in training camp where you got to teach a guy, move your head, don't get caught so you won't look that way? Maybe they didn't do their job. Jacobs is on the receiving end of a very good counterpunch. Right speed, to me, Teddy, is clearly the biggest difference we've seen so far tonight. Yeah, but there's ways to take away speed. One is to go downstairs to the body and start to discourage the guy a little bit. You know, take some of the air out of those sails. And he's holding. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Halfway through this round, there's another left hand from him. Not able to connect with the uppercut. his punches just don't look like what they should look like right now, Teddy. I know he's thrown a lot early on here, but there's no oomph on them. Well, that's the other side of it. There's always a flip side to a coin, and the flip side here in the boxing ring, yeah, he threw a lot of punches, but they didn't affect the guy. Right now, I think he's giving in a little bit. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Winky Wright's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. You keep doing what you're doing, and you got this in the bag. Just keep doing exactly what you want. He's been on target with his attack. Good, accurate punching as we begin round number four here, and he's up three to zip on your scorecard, Teddy. Good counter-punching, and when you're counter-punching the right way, you're usually getting clean shots. He's getting it. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. And now they're trading blows. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Jacobs is hurt by a big shot. Clean shot. Did you see that? Big headshot puts him down. One, two, three, four. Danny Jacobs is now getting back up off the canvas. Carries that punch intended for the head. Keep working the body. Not an accurate hook at all. Looks to the head. Focus. Jacobs is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination lands. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Wow, nice. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Danny Jacobs will fight on here, getting up after the knockdown. Good flush shot by Winky Wright. He scored well after being hit himself. Oh! That was
was a big shot that scored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Wright's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your Probably going to mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, one single knockout punch. Well, it's one of those punches that actually can be marked down. It's going to last in the annals of this sport. I mean, this matches up with any of the great knockouts ever in this sport. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.